Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Kellen here again with Droid Life. So we've got a Samsung Galaxy S10 E in house. You guys know what this phone is. We've we've gone hands on with it already, uh, but we want to we want to dive in a little more deeply. Give you those tips and tricks, those first ten things to do, all that good stuff. We'll get to a review, uh, but first things first, right? We we got to unbox it. So let's dive in here. Galaxy S10 E unboxing. All right, let's uh, cut this thing open here. Oh, in case you couldn't tell, this is the this is the yellow. This is the crazy bright yellow. Uh, Samsung really kind of killed it, I would say, this year with the colors. There's the flamingo orange or flamingo pink, which looks kind of corally orange. The blue they did is nice. The prism white is nice. They, they really did some nice stuff uh, with color. I think this is Samsung's best set of colors to date, and I don't think, I don't think it's even close. So uh, uh, we went with yellow for the S10. We also have a, a flamingo one coming as well. So uh, here's the phone. Let's just set it. Oh, it's so it's so pretty. It's so it's so crazy. I guess I should really say. Anyway, let's let's set that there. So in the box, uh, Samsung is giving you some AKG earbuds. Um, they've been doing this for a little bit, and they are uh, oh, nice little braided little braided cable there. Um, these are white that are coming with the yellow uh, three and a half millimeter headphone jack on all Galaxy S10. So. Three and a half millimeter headphones. Um, this particular version, you can see, this is an international model. I do believe it's unlocked, but um, came with a free, free SD card. 128 gig SD card. Uh, cool. Um, also in the box, charger. Um, so this is your uh, your switching uh, port hub thingy, dongle thingy. So this is to help you transfer everything from your uh, current phone to your new Samsung phone. Here is a fast charger. And then uh, this should be a USB-C cable. So pull this out and sure enough, USB-C cable for doing your transfer and charging and all of that fun stuff. So uh, anyways, uh, box stuff aside, let's dive right into this phone. Actually, you know what, before we do that, what what is this? This was, this was tucked in here. I missed it the first time. Uh, well, here's your SIM removal tray, uh, an SD card slot tray. So uh, if you need to do that, that's what that's for. Just punch that thing right in that little little hole up top there. You see that little guy? Do that. Do that. You need to uh, put a SIM in. This looks like a case. Oh, look at that. A little case. Uh, is that it? Or something. I feel like there's more in here. Oh, just guides and stuff. Okay. Uh, they came with a, this, this, uh, this little uh, holy cool uh, case. Really minimal case too, by the way. Nice job, Samsung. All right, cleaning this up. Let's uh, go. All right, so Galaxy S10 E, for, for those not familiar who haven't been following along, the Galaxy S10e is, well, it's the third in the Galaxy S10 line. It's the more affordable version. It starts at 750 bucks in the US. And it's it's not a lot different than the uh, than the regular S10 and S10 Plus, but there are some differences. So before we really go in here, let's let's talk a little bit about what those are. So it has a 5.8 inch uh, AMOLED display at full HD, so 1080p. The other two phones are 6.1 and 6.4 inches quad HD, so a little bit lower resolution, um, but still AMOLED. You do have Snapdragon 855 in US models, Exynos chipset in non-US models six or eight gig ram options in the s10e the other ones start at eight for the regular 10 and then eight and 12 gig for the s10 plus so you can go with lower ram at six gig uh batteries 3100 milliamp hours so smallest of the three you only have a dual camera setup on the back here instead of the triple camera setup that you get on the others the only thing it's missing though is the telephoto you still have the dual pixel um uh, multiple aperture lens, and then you also have the uh, the wide angle. The only thing you're missing is that telephoto. So it kind of depends on what you're what you're worried about there. Front camera is a 10 megapixel selfie camera, same as the S10. It's not the same as the S10 Plus, which plus which has a, uh, a dual hole punch there. Uh, IP68 uh, fingerprint reader is actually in the side power button here. So that's that's the side power button that doubles as a fingerprint reader. The S10, S10 Plus have a fingerprint reader right there in the display. So this one is actually on the side and that's pretty much it. You still got Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, you've got AX Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi 6. So it's one of the first in the uh, on the planet to have that. Um, and this is just a much more manageable in-hand phone. Still runs Android 9.0 Pi with Samsung's One UI on top. So uh, firing up here for the first time. Well, we're through the setup. Well, we skipped the setup so you can at least get a look at the software. So here's the Galaxy S10e. Obviously, we're not reviewing anything. This is this is just an unboxing, but uh, I'm pretty excited. This is the first time in a couple of years I've been this excited about Samsung's phones. I think they did 
a phenomenal job design finish everything with the galaxy s10 uh, obviously the software one ui we're a fan of they're already running pi out of the box you know you've got the hole punch cutouts which i know they're trying to hide with these with these uh, dark wallpapers up here in the corner but you've got that i mean it's a it's an all display front i mean there's a little bezel down here there's a little bit up top but for the most part this is a full screen device there's no notch. They skip the notch. We do just have that hole punch cut out there. Um, so just a little tour here of the outside up top. Uh, not much going on. Just that SIM and uh, SD tray right there. Um, on the bottom, you do have USB-C port, headphone jack, and speaker. Um, that hole punch cut out. You do have a big speed button on the side as well as volume rocker. It's on the left side. And then the right side, again, power button that doubles as a fingerprint reader. So it's actually a clickable button. But once it reads your finger, you can just kind of set your finger on there. It is a little high. I wish uh, the, the button was right there. I wish I didn't have to reach so far. But look, that's just a little complaint there. So uh, again, one UI. Not going to dive too deeply here. We've got a whole tour video, which I'll link to that you guys should watch. Um, but you know, we've got like Google's digital well-being down here, um, and to get you to try to unplug from your phone a little bit more, it's Android Pie. It's the latest. Um, lots of lots of cool stuff going on. You can you can remap that big speed button if you really want to. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Again, just an unboxing of the the crazy yellow S10e is really what I'm most excited about. So uh, we'll dive into this. Again, we got S10 coming too, S10 Plus as well. We'll dive into all of them. Got reviews coming, tips and tricks, first 10 things, all that stuff we will do. So uh, stay close to us. We are Droid Life. Peace.